as we do every year, we finish off with the best of sport fishing on the fly. And as tradition holds for us now, we always start the next season off in Cuba, and we've had some great fishing and great weather. But it's all about the best of sport fishing on the fly today. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander Reels, Precision Reels. Hardy and Gray's Fly Fishing Rods, Born to Fish. And the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC. Catch what you've been missing, Go Fish BC. We visited some beautiful areas this year on Sport Fishing on the Fly and we want to show you some of those right now. This year in sport fishing on the fly, I thought we got some very good fish and really it's not about the size of the fish, but it's really the quality. So I want to show you some of those really nice fish right now. Where, where are you coming from? I thought I would get at least somebody with a fresky with a t-shirt that's younger than 20 years old in the scene here. Oh, come on. It's one, of my, it's one of my all time favorites. And you know, I always get a hard time from the wife too. She always tells me, when are you going to throw that thing out? But it's quality. <laughs> what a guy. Pretty bad, pretty bad. He's going. Oh, oh this fish. is a hog. Yeah, it's a nice fish. I'm gonna try to get on my back in here. That's what you call teamwork. There, I got on the rod. Whoa, gee. almost lost the rod. <laughs> well, I can't feel my hands. Really? <laughs> really. My hands are numb. I've got warm packs in my pocket. But this is what we came for. Yeah. This one's big. This guy felt, oh, you yeah. know, that four or five pound range. Yeah. It feels heavy. This is the fish of the day. It is. Oh, he's going out to the middle he's of the lake. He's going to the other side of the lake. Look at him. He's halfway across the lake. Look at him Dog. out there. He's not getting tired yet either. That's Look a big fish. Look at the size fish. of him. That's a big fish. That is a big fish. Ah, oh, this is what we come to Roche for. And look at him. He's just barely lip hooked too. There he is. That's a... There he is. Oh, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. This is a five and a half year old fish. It's a triploid a panace. It's going to grow. It's going to live for another two or three years. How long is that guy? Oh, it's it's long. It's 28 yeah. inches minimum. That's that's a beautiful fish, a, isn't it? That's, that's like a, a little, that's like a mini steel. Oh, yeah. What a gorgeous fish. She's going to go. There she goes. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! That was on. nice. That's what it's all about. Just gonna take a moment now and show everybody the tech we're using to fish today. And again, it's a simple down and across 
fishing. And it's gonna finish this little float all the way through. Fish on! Oh, just like that. Oh. And he was doing the cool. same technique. Oh, looks like a nice one. Oh, there you go, folks, oh. just like that. Same technique. <laughs> oh, nice yeah. fish. What do you think? Cool. cool. Yeah. I saw him. Nice. Yeah. He's right up here. How big? Big. <laughs> big. How oh, big? Big. Oh, oh, Chinook. Oh, Chinook. Big Chinook, yeah. Oh, he's, he's got to be 25. 20, 25. It's big. I'll go down and scare oh. 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 You might be able to get him, Don. He's kind of tired. Okay, I got him. Got him? I got him. Right in the snow. Right in the snow, yeah. You, well, you had him look good anyways. He wasn't going anywhere. Okay. Look at that. Oh, how heavy is that guy? Oh. What do you think that oh, is? That's, I, Gotta be uh, 25, 30 pounds. Yeah, 25, 30 for sure. I'll hold him up once more. I don't want to. Look at that. Want to keep him near the water bullet? Look, it's just you, Jay. And you're able to get him in. That was everything I could could do, oh. though. Look at the look at the tail on them. Like they're just huge. I'm exhausted. And look at that. All dark gums. I mean, that's how you know it's the Chinook. Yeah. All and black here, gums. I mean, it's a late run. They yeah. usually come through July. Yeah. But you'll get the odd late one. Like this guy's a little yeah. colored up. Yeah, a little colored, but there he is there again. Oh, Showing yeah, the that's, back. Turning the that's back a meat. The thickness. Look at how thick they are. Just big, big fish. Monsters. Oh, you know what? He gave you a great fight. Yeah. You gonna let him, let him go away. We kept him in the water. Okay. I think he wants to go, but look at the size of him. <laughs> Big turpin. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Up here. Get ready to bow. He's gonna do it when he goes. Nice. 60, 70 pound turpin. How's about that? Yeah, he hasn't finished. He hasn't even started no, no. to jump yet. Oh, there he is out there. If you can see him, right in front of us. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's a nice tarpon. Hard to believe that's on the end of my line. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's got it. man. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Okay, run down. Oh, yeah. How's that? How big is the cookie? It's a 65. 65? Want me to help you? Or? Yeah. You got it. Oh. You got it. Oh, how's that? Woohoo! Very, very nice. Oh, wow. You got a detail in you. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is nice. Wow, beautiful. It's a wonderful fish. Yeah, well, let's let her go. That was awesome. What a fight. What a great fight. Is he ready? There he goes. This is a big bone. This is a big bone. Oh, oh yeah, no, he's all right. Oh, oh. How big a bone cookie? That's got to be seven, seven pounds. Seven pounds, yeah, at least. Are you going to step Can out? Can we get out? out? Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, look at him pail out the line. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you need. That's why you need a large arbor reel. Look at Cookie's going to go out there and get him off the mangroves. <laughs> okay, he's off. Oh, that's, that's a big, a big bone. bone, isn't it? A solo bonefish. There was one guy there. 
We saw them and we knew it was big because the solo guys tend to be bigger. And this one's a nice one. Oh, I'm bagged out. He took a 200 yard run in a heartbeat. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh, that fish is thick. Yeah, what is that guy? Oh, oh yeah. That's a nice one, eh, Cookie? This is eight pound. Eight pound, eight pound bone. I'll just unhook him here. Oh, just in the tough part. Look at oh, that. That's that beautiful. Nice eight pound bone fish here at Avalon. That, you know, you only get it down here in Cuba. <laughs> they are, they, and they eat. Oh, oh, there he goes. That's good. Oh, that's good. Hey. What a job! Eight pound, I love it. You know, that's that's as nice a bonefish as you're gonna catch in the world. And there's bigger fish out here. How big did they get, the bone? No, my big here is 11. 11 pounds. So, hey, you know what? If I'm close to him and fishing, I'll take it. 11 pounds. Eight pounder? Decent. Right on. Let's get some more, eh? We'll take him. Nice. I love it. I love it. Nice coho. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's why we target coho. That is awesome. Another that's nice it. big coho. Oh, you gotta love it. Especially when they start running. You know, it's the end of August. Long weekend is really when they start moving. But right now, is that you get all the chrome bullets coming yeah, through. Just I start, love it. The start of the run. Yeah, the start of the run. Oh, yeah. Not huge, but he's nice, eh? Nice chrome coho. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Whoa. oh, he just went across the river on you. You know what, I have the glove <laughs> on, but I don't think I'm gonna be landing him for another 20 minutes. Again. Unbelievable, oh, you, across you the to... river three times. Yeah. You can see the pressure wake. Yeah, right over there. This is definitely, a, oh, there he is there, yeah. This is a two-man operation. If you don't have two guys, oh. I don't want him to go again. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're not ready yet. Now that's a big fish. Wow. Getting close, Dale. No. <laughs> okay, got him. All right. There's the pink fly. Right in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that's a nice chrome bullet. So that guy's probably, you know, the 11. 10, 11. Yeah, another nice cool. Yeah, another nice cool. 10 to 11, maybe. Hey. Yeah. Look at that. Chrome bullets. Those are silver coho. And... Oh, <laughs> he got me. He got him. Congratulations. All right. Well, you know, again, the whole, the whole show is on coho. We're keen on the coho. And it's the patterns. You know, I think we should go to the bench now. We're always having success with pink and uh, purple yeah and here's one of the smaller patterns now this is one of our favorites it has a bead head on it you know to get that fly down it's, it's bead weighted it's got the right the rabbit the pink and purple rabbit these combinations and i can't stress it enough i said it on numerous shows pink and purple are our go-to patterns they are the first colors we go to for coho actually for everything steelhead yeah. i mean this is a great pattern so let's go to the bench and we're going to tie up a special little pattern This week on the bench, we're going to tie you up Big Pink, the green stillwater nymph, the coho killer, the wallinator, Dawn's red eye blood leech, Dawn's number one, Dawn's Cuban shrimp, the eisen tube shrimp, Dawn's little black chronomate, Dawn's flashback, the tricked out chromie, the black death tarpon bunny. Now, what we want to do is when we cut this, we want to cut it in various angles, just a little bit longer than our polar bear, and it should be very bearing length. Those walleye really like a, a lifelike look in the water. So before we wrap over the final stage of our, our rabbit, 
onto the back. I want to pick out some of this dubbing so it streams back. Then I'm going to take my lighter and just melt the end until I get a nice bead. I like to actually form the loop in the thread and then I slowly insert the material in between this loop. And as I get more and more material in, I'll spin my, my dubbing loop and then I'll wrap the body forward to form the body. And we're gonna wrap it about half the hook. Just get to the, uh, to the cone. Now what I'm gonna do is just pull it all under the cone. Now that'll hold the cone nice and steady. As you wrap this body forward, keep pulling the rabbit to the rear of the hook. And form a nice, full, tapered body on this fly. And when you pull it back, we're gonna cut these, and they go right along the back and just cut them on an angle, just a little bit longer than the fox we just put in. So it tapers back when it's in the water. And just whip, finish off right behind the island. So there it is, Dawn's Cuban shrimp. It's the finished green stillwater nymph. It's the finished coho killer. The wallinator. Dawn's red eye blood leech. Dawn's number one chronomid. Big pink. The finished eyes and tube shrimp. Dawn's little black chronomid. Dawn's flashback. The tricked out chromie. The finished black death tarpon bunny. I thought I'd have Dale involved in the outtake segment of this show because I do make the odd mistake. Yeah, they call them one take fresky, but I've been around the show a long time. And <laughs> a lot of times we take a lot more takes, a lot of screw ups. And hey, and you mentioned the key word there, us. We have made a lot of errors and a lot of people we have on the show made mistakes. So let's take you there right now and show you some of those outtakes. Okay, I'm running. So you okay. Yeah, I'll go you pretty quick here. The beauty of coming on a week long trip is you get to save. Oh, okay, here we go. The boo. <laughs> no, okay, here. The beauty of coming on a week-long trip is you get to fish the same waters a couple of times over. The beauty of coming on a week-long trip is you get to fish the same waters a couple of times over. The big thing about today, oh no. The beauty of coming on a week-long trip is you get to fish the same time, same time. The beauty of a week-long trip is you get to fish the same waters a couple of times over. The bad thing about West Coast fishing is you have to deal with the weather and fluctuating water conditions. Last night we had some heavy rain and we're, ah, oh, last night we had some heavy rains. The great thing about taking a week long trip is you get to fish the same waters a couple of times over. The thing about West Coast fishing, ah, oh, got smoke? Yeah, I got smoke. Of course you do. The Kitimat River near Kit. Kitimat River, okay, hold that here. One of the most desirable and fun fish to catch on a fly rod is a coho salmon. And especially when they're bright chrome silver, fresh out of the ocean. On the Kitimat River, we have that opportunity today. And that's who's, oh, where was I, where was I going with that? One of the most enjoyable, one of the most enjoyable salmon, yeah. Okay. One of the most enjoyable salmon to catch, catch, catch? <laughs> Oh, what a cluster. Oh, this is ugly. That is as ugly as I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finished laughing yet or what? <laughs> oh, this is just a cluster. <laughs> Come on. That was a nice hit. Oh, I lost my twig. Now that the body's tied in, we're gonna take our or uh, what is it? Now the body's tied in, we're gonna take a, uh, take a. Uh, year after year, there's a go-to pattern that, no, it's go-to pattern, okay, right, go Year after year, there's a pattern that is always my go-to and always seems to catch fish, and that's my red-eyed, blah, 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 blah. And there it is, the big pink. Now this pattern, I had a bit, a bit, okay, here we go again. After the tail's tied in, the thread is still at the back of the hook. I'm gonna take my rabbit, uh, my, my red, i take my rabbit, my red rabbit. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, hold on. The tip, in. it's all bent over. What? It's all bent. That's a nine foot. Do you want uh, more? Uh, What's with the glasses? Well, like we, both, we both need glasses. We can't see anything. You can't anymore. seem to tie the fly on. <laughs> well, Phil, look at it. Look at the tip. It's all bent. The tip's all bent. So remember, when you're coming down to the tropics, especially fishing for tarpon, two made rods are required. Make sure you have a 10 weight and a 12 weight, both about nine feet long. Make sure they're short and stiff. Oh, short and stiff. <laughs> Looks like a damn circle hook. Another little bone. How good is that yeah, guy? Yeah, smaller, but looks nice. Nice thing about getting the bones in here in this nice flat is there's no mangrove little shrubs to hook on, no coral to break your line. It's actually just a true. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's just a true flat. And you lost them again. <laughs> oh my god! We got it! Bray, how you doing? <laughs> That's definitely yeah. the outtake show. Oh, the barrel oh. roll. Go oh. water in the room for showers! <laughs> Come on, water in the morning. Oh my god, Schlank, holy Schlank, eh? Go Goes to get his rod and little barrel roll out right out of the front of the boat. It's a darn good thing it's shallow here. Because Schlank would have gone bloop down like a rock. You can't swim a stroke. No, you came up. You came up playing. Playing. <laughs> Well, that wraps up this season's best of sport fishing on the fly. And we've got a great new series coming to you again. We start off in Cuba. We got some really nice footage we're going to show you at the end of the show. And we had a good year. Oh, yeah. It's always a great year. Starting here in the tropics, you yeah. know, it's winter still in Canada. And then getting to our great fishing up in Canada there, it's always a good time. So I want to thank the Bulldog for joining me on a bunch of shows. Of course, Brian Chan, Freshwater Fishers Society of British Columbia is a great sponsor. Islander, all our other great sponsors to make the show happen. So remember, take care, conserve our waters, and we'll see you next season as we take you sport fishing on the fly. And that's a Jack Travel. Want more information? Visit us at sfotf.ca. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.